Welcome back. We've spent some time talking about creating and saving documents. What if we want to print the document? Either to send it to somebody or to keep a hard copy as it's called. Well, the first step is to connect a printer to the computer and install the necessary software to make it work. As always with Windows, there are a couple of ways to do this and the way you need to do it will be dictated by your printer. Most new printers come with software. This could be on a CD or DVD, or it could come with instructions telling you to download it from a certain website. If this is the case, you should do this first. I've covered installing software in Lesson 2.6. It should be a similar process to what I outlined during that lesson. As you step through the installation, it should tell you what to connect, when and where. If you don't have any instructions, if your printer is an older model, or if the printer has already been connected, then you can use Windows Settings to connect and set up the printer. Let's take a look. So we go to the Start menu, then Windows Settings. From here we select Devices. Then on the left select Printers and Scanners. We now see a list of printers attached to the computer. Don't be surprised if you see things listed here, even if you haven't got a printer connected to your computer yet. Let me run through what I have here already. The Microsoft Print to PDF and Microsoft XPS Document Writer are tools to allow us to convert documents to PDF, or Portable Document Format, or to XPS Document Format. Don't worry too much about these, they just give you a quick, convenient way to convert files. Remember, in the last video I also showed you how to use the Save As option in Word to do the same thing. Microsoft OneNote is an excellent note-taking application. It's much like a paper notebook. It allows you to create separate notebooks, each with separate sections, and those sections can have multiple pages. It's great for students taking notes or for jotting down notes from a meeting. It's a great program, but outside of this course. These options allow you to print a file, and rather than the printout coming out on paper from a physical printer, they put the printout into a new page in OneNote. This allows you to annotate over the top as you need. For example, you might print a lecture slides into OneNote. Then you can make digital notes during the lecture along or over the top of each slide. The option we want to look at is Add a Printer or Scanner. Click the grey button with a cross on it. It tells Windows to start looking for a printer. This will look for printers connected directly to the computer, for example by USB. It will also look on the local network for any printers. These can either be connected directly to the network or shared. Shared means that they are connected to another computer on the network but have been set up to allow access from other machines. More on sharing in the network section of this course. In my case, it's found a printer. This is an old black and white laser printer. It's called Office BW, and it tells me the model details. In this case, it's an HP LaserJet P2055DN. Before we install this device, notice that after a while we get an option just below saying the printer that I want isn't listed. In other words, if the scan hasn't found the printer you are looking for, click this option to be taken through a manual setup. Again, a bit beyond the level of this course, but if you know exactly where the printer is located in network speak, then you can use this option to connect to it. With our printer found, click on it. We then get the option to add device, so let's click that. That's pretty much it. If Windows is able to determine the type of printer and find the correct software for it, the process is automated, and after a little time we see a nice picture of the printer we just installed. Once it's installed we have the option to open the printer app. This is just a basic application that allows us to order more ink or check various settings. The exact options and whether you get this option at all will depend on the printer that you installed. Now that the installation is completed, we can see the new printer listed in the Printers and Scanners section. 
If you want to remove a printer, perhaps you have old printers listed that you no longer have anymore. Just click on its listing in the printers and scanners section and click remove device. You'll be asked to confirm that you actually want to remove the printer. Click yes to confirm and the printer is gone. But that probably won't remove all the software associated with the printer, particularly if you had to download software when you set the device up in the first place. You'll need to remove this software separately. Refer to lesson 2.6 where I show you how to use control panel and Windows settings to remove software from your computer. In this lesson we have explored how to use Windows settings options to install and set up a printer. We have then looked at how to remove a printer. This could be an old printer that you no longer have connected to your computer. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.